Good morning, y'all. It is January 7th, 2020. Um, I know a, a lot of people are not a fan of my stance when it comes to Chris Richard. I said it before and I'll say it again. He has to go. He has to go. Now, of course, you got a lot of people. The, the arguments are is that he didn't get a chance to implement his own scheme. You know, he had to work within Rod Marinelli's uh, defensive game plans and his coordination. He had to do a lot of things. It, uh, he didn't have a lot of influence in the draft room. He couldn't get a lot of the players that he wanted and all this stuff. Y'all, don't forget, he was the passing game coordinator and he was the DB's coach. Look at, look at the results. Look at the results. The results, it's, it's what you've done for me lately. What has he done this season? What did our DBs do this season? What did they do? We're 8-8 eight eight for a reason. You know, look at our running backs coach. Look what he's done for Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. Look what Mike Nolan did for resurrecting Demario Davis's career, you know, helping Patrick Willis, helping Ray Lewis. Position coaches matter. They matter greatly. Look at what John Kitna has done for Dak Prescott. What did Chris Richard do for RDBs? Byron Jones can't get a pick to save his life. Don't forget, he had Jordan Lewis on the bench a lot of the time this season when he should have been getting more playing time. That's question. That's a questionable call. Anthony Brown didn't progress. Cheeto, Cheeto arguably regressed. I mean, Cheeto Bay was better last year than this year. I mean, come on, y'all. Let's be real. So when I look at his position... When I look at the position that he coaches and I see no growth whatsoever, as a coach, a lot of times you don't have control of who you can, you can't handpick everything. You got to work with what you got. Bill Belichick is one of the, is the greatest coach in NFL history because he can do things with less. He knows how to work around with everything. He doesn't need everything handpicked for him. He took, this is one of the worst squads I've ever seen the Patriots roll out there. And Bill Belichick took them to the playoffs. Okay? They did not, they shouldn't have, if, if, if any other coach coached that Patriots team, that team would have went 5-11, and 6-10. And, and yet he took them to the playoffs. Chris Richard, he had enough talent in that defensive backfield, and he couldn't get it done. I'm sorry. Cheeto was a second-round pick. Byron Jones was a first-round pick. Jordan Lewis was a third or fourth-round pick. He was a premium pick. And you still couldn't get it done? I don't care if it was in Rod Marinelli's scheme. Your DBs are supposed to be better than that. And he got fired from Seattle. Don't forget, he got fired from Seattle. Pete Carroll let his ass go. And the thing is, do you want another situation where you have conflicting defensive minds? Like calling the shots? Do you really want that? Do you want another Ron Marinelli, Chris Richard uh, mix? Do you want that? I think the Cowboys... Are interest, uh, want to keep Chris Richard back because they don't want him going anywhere else. Of course, duh, obvious. But let him go somewhere and let him fully implement his scheme. Because he's not going to be able to do it here. And to be quite honest, I, I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I, I don't. I'm more, interested, I'm more interested to see what Mike Nolan is capable of. Let him have the entire reins. We don't need two conflicting messages. We don't need that. We don't need that again. That's ridiculous. 
So let him walk. Let him go be a DB coach somewhere else. Let him potentially be a defensive coordinator somewhere else. We don't need him here. It's time to, to – y'all, the thing is, Cowboys fans have been talking shit all year about how we got to get rid of all the coaching staff. And y'all doing everything to keep most of the coaching staff. That doesn't make sense. Y'all keep arguing, well, we need this guy, we need this guy, we need this guy. Why don't you just keep the whole fucking coaching staff and just, cha and just change the head coach? How about that? We need a clean slate. The only one I'm willing to keep, and a lot of people talked about Mark Colombo. Mark Colombo, yeah, but the only ones I'm willing to keep is John Kittner and Kellen Moore. That's it. Everybody else can go. Y'all keep saying, well, we need to keep this coach. We need to keep that coach. We need to keep that coach. Really? Really? All, all of them got the stank of Jason Garrett on them. In my opinion, we should just do a clean slate. But y'all want, we want this one, we want this one. That doesn't make sense. Cowboys fans, y'all not making sense right now. So you wanted to get rid of the coaching staff, but you don't want to get rid of the coaching staff. I'm tired of seeing this. See, the same arguments that's made for Chris Richard, y'all were making for Jason Garrett years ago. Y'all were making for Scott Linehan years ago. Remember when everybody was like, well, Scott Linehan, he doesn't have a chance to do what he wants on offense because Jason Garrett has the reins and all this stuff. Y'all were saying that shit. And then we ended up firing Scott Linehan because we allowed him to do what he does. And look what happened. And then, y'all making the same argument for Chris Richard. We've seen enough of him. It's time for him to go. It's done. Go bye-bye. Y'all follow your boy on Instagram, Gerard John 1991. That's J-A-R-R-O-D-J-O-H-N-1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.